Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to place cabinets. There's a couple different ways we can do it, so we're going to take a look at both of them. The very first thing we need, however, is our walls set up, which we have here in our layout. So once we have our walls, we can come over here and click on our cabinets icon. This is going to pop up a new window. From here, we can scroll down to the catalog we want, choose our catalog. You won't have nearly as many catalogs installed as I do. And we can come to our base cabinets and our standard base, select our cabinet, and hit place. You'll notice that my mouse has become a crosshair. And once it's a crosshair, that indicates there's something attached to it. So now we're going to come over and somewhere inside of our placement zone on whichever wall it is that we want to place our cabinet. We're going to come right inside that placement zone. We're going to do a single left click and the cabinet is now attached to that wall and our mouse. So we can move that back and forth and we can align it. We can come over here and we can use our measurements by manually entering those or we can just slide it over where we want it, do another left click and it places it. Our little box pops back up we can grab another item from it and drop it right out on the plan. We can also move this box around so it gets out of your way because sometimes it's kind of difficult to see what you're doing when it's right in the middle of your screen. So you can move it out of your way, slide it off the screen, whatever you need to do to keep working. We also have a find button here. So if we come over and we click in this window, we can start typing our cabinet skew. And when you have a minimum of the first two characters in there, it'll start popping up items with those characters. The more you enter, the more it narrows down the field. If you don't narrow it down that far, you can come in here and scroll down through it, and find what you want, click on the item, click on place, drop it on your layout. So that's the first way that we can place cabinets. Going to close that window now. And we're going to come over here and we're going to go to our catalogs window. And you notice it starts out in architectural elements. But then as you look through here, all of your catalogs are available here as well. And this is actually where I prefer to place my cabinets from. It works just the same way as the little window that we had, only it's not in the middle of my screen, it's not in the way, I have everything available right here. I can come in there, my tool tip is attached here, and I can make any adjustments I need for my tool tip. You'll tend not to change the width, the height, or the depth, because you really want to do that as a modification versus just as changing the cabinet because it's not going to change the skew and it's not going to add it as a mod if we just change it manually here. You want to click on your modification button. But we can change the angle and we can change the back wall offset and the side wall offset. And that's going to pull them in and out or right and left when we place them. So this is very handy to have. But otherwise you grab them, hold down the uh, left mouse button, move them out here to your wall zone, drop them on his own. You can drag them to where you need them or you can enter your measurement over here manually and select it that way. We also have a find feature over here. And again, as you start entering your characters, it's going to pull up everything that has those characters in it. And then you simply select them grab them, drag them out here, drop them on your wall. You can easily switch catalogs by clicking on your drop menu, going through and finding your other catalog that you want to use. Now one thing that does confuse some of our new users, and we'll take a real quick look at that, is when you're placing a corner cabinet, grab the corner cabinets here, we'll do a diagonal corner lazy Susan. When you place the corner cabinet, it places the same except for you need to be in the corner to drop the cabinet. Now I can drop it out here, but it's not going to line it to the corner. It's just going to drop it out on the wall. So you want to be in your corner 
to drop the cabinet and then it'll drop appropriately. And this has been Pro Kitchen cabinet placement video tutorial. Thank you for watching.